welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse video. Today, we're going to be checking out one of their brand new offerings, even though this was leaked some time ago, and it seems like had it come out around then, it would have made a little bit more sense. This one seemingly has some old parts and pieces to it that modern McFarlane DC Multiverse figures aren't using. And of course, I'm talking about the new Cyborg Superman, of which, yes, this is the Platinum Edition version. He's a little bit more Henshaw in the colors, for those wondering. And for those of you who just found out, much like I did recently, this Cyborg Superman is not Hank Henshaw. It is Zor-El, which is Supergirl's father. Look at that menace right there. Here's the barcode. Mine came from Target, found him amidst all the brand new Platinum Edition. So if you are actively searching for these, Target seemingly is the place to be for now. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the new 52's Cyborg Superman Platinum Edition. Here we go. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging, and I mean everything. Look, at it, it's just filling the screen. No, he does come with a flight stand. I'm not going to count that. I am happy that he came with a flight stand, but if only there was some kind of artwork, something out there that could detail out parts, pieces, accessories, swap out, maybe an extendo jaw with a laser coming out of it, something that would give us an idea of what to add to this figure, because... The figure is all you get. However, it does make up for that in a really cool sculpt. Like I said, this is not Hank Henshaw, but it is cool. I, I like it. I like the way it looks. I'm a big fan of that flesh tearing away. You've got the skeletal structure underneath. It's very anime-ish looking. Whoever the sculptor is, McFarlane Toys working on this, loves teeth. You people over there love to sculpt every little tooth. It's weird. <laughs> Draw back on the teeth a little bit with the cape, with his spinal cord showing in the back. It's awesome. The sculpt on this thing is thoroughly tremendous. I like seeing all the sinew, all the bits and flesh pieces amidst all the metal and the spikes and the robotness of him. You can tell I'm excited. When I saw this in hand, I go, oh, that's much better than what the photos, look at all the rivets, all the screws, that is cool, it even has a little Superman symbol right there on the back of his mechanical hand. It's not gonna move outside of the basic McFarlane articulation, just FYI, it's single jointed on that side, but he does have one heck of an S shield and I like all the texture within the yellow. This is gonna be one of those rare times where I'm not gonna complain because it thoroughly reminds me of Cyborg and how he looked in the Snyderverse, but this actually works and I think that this rocks. Also, the blue, even though it's heavily textured, very sculpted out, it's simplified, so it doesn't explode your brain in looking at everything at once. It does a great job at breaking it up from the reds to the silver robotic pieces to his flesh yet still robotic hand. I think that's a nice touch. Everything is sculpted beautifully. I think that enough paint is there without, again, going crazy. You have the usual McFarlane articulation. It's not going to be crazy. You have a big, thick plastic cape. It's got rips and tears in it. I love that as well. He has his Tim Drake boots. He's got peg holes on the bottom. Yeah, you can tell. Even though I'm a huge fan of Hank Henshaw's version of Cyborg Superman, this, and I'll just call it Hank Henshaw for all that I care because the other version, whatever, but it's cool, it's menacing, it's a big, robotic, terrifying looking Superman. They nailed that. However, he really doesn't stand very well, so that is where the flight stand can really help. However, he's very heavy, and you know how those stands go, so you have to get him situated perfectly or else he's gonna go a toppling over. When you wanna see him next to Mongol, maybe you wanna take down a coast city or two, he looks great, even though these are not the exact versions of those characters from that storyline, they look good together, even with this cyborg Superman and his Manhunter robot army, of which they made this Platinum Edition version, so you can't really army build them. Go figure, but those look good together as well. And if you want to see him next to Supergirl, his daughter, and a mulleted Superman from the 90s, 
It's the DC Multiverse, baby. You can do whatever you want, any timeline. It's crazy over there, McFarlane Toys. But they all look good, especially with the newer body type Superman. This cyborg Superman is very tall. He's a big, chunky figure. It works for that character. And so for that alone, it makes him even more a menacing. But if you're anything like me, you want to see what does this cyborg Superman look like with the other reign of the Superman, the four Superman that took over when Superman, quote unquote, died. I think they all work together as more of an alternate reality version of the reign of the Superman. I've had to do some augmentations here and there, which I added some pieces to him, but for the most part, it's fine for what it is, but I wanna see the actual versions going forward, McFarlane Toys. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the new 52's Cyborg Superman, the Platinum Edition variants. As I always say, you always have to say so much now to really drive home what exactly you're looking at. Let's try and simplify this, companies. Can we do that? Maybe just even a little. It's a cool figure. He's going to be kind of hard to stand in some cases. Give him the flight stand. Make sure he's perfectly situated or he's just going to go toppling every two seconds. You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Cyborg Superman. Bring on the original Hank Henshaw. Come on, DC Multiverse. I knows you got it in you. So, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember San Diego Comic-Con 2024 is right around the corner and we'll have lots of new DC multiverse figures to talk about. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.